Hi, it's good to be back again and I want to welcome you to this um, episode of Family and Society Talk Show. My name is Elizabeth Samsedi and yes, everyone is here again. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm pleased. Yes. I'm pleased yeah. Okay, uh, today we have with us, uh, we have in the person of uh, Mr. Johnson Yakubu Sani. You are welcome, sir. <laughs> Thank you, you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Mr. Yakubu Sani is a former financial secretary, actors guide of Nigeria, Abuja chapter. Uh, we decided to bring him to the show for him to share with us the life that we know, we see them and... Um, these days, um, you know how it is, a lot of um, divorces here and there, a lot of um, separation, crisis in uh, homes, in marriages of actors and actresses. They bring their lives, their private lives online to the social media. And we have a lot of social media in-laws yeah. <laughs> supporting and against and all that. So, you know, it, it beats my imagination. I was like, does it really mean that uh, because these people, yes, they entertain us, they, they pass messages across to to us or you know in different um, angles direction the manner of man, manners of life and um, why can't they just have a sane quiet you know and happy home it's it's becoming really really um, rampant and uh, a cause of um, concern so that's why on the show we decided to come up with some um, at least an actor to be able to share with us the life of an actor and family life so <laughs> we would like you to discuss with us. Um, first of all, what's it like as an actor, as a family man? Okay, well, before I start, I will say um, good evening or good afternoon or good morning. Depending, um, depending on where on you're what, watching us from. <laughs> at yeah. the time you're watching. Right. And I'm so glad to be here. You're welcome. To be invited by you guys. You're welcome. And um, I want to say the life on, of an actor is not a private life. Because already, when you put yourself out to be an actor, you know, you've put, you've put yourself to the public view. Okay. So you cannot have a private life. So as an actor, just know that you are in the view of the public. The public and the people. public is looking at you. Mm. And everything you do, the public is watching you. That is why the life of an, of an actor should be a life of perfection. Mm. Wow, because, perfection. <laughs> I yeah, like the sound of that. It's a life of perfection. Mm. because it should be a life of perfection. perfection. It has a standard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because any error, any little error, is already out there. Mm. So the life of an actor is a life of a public. Okay, yeah. so thank you very much. Now, that being said, because I think, I think most actors do not... They have not come to this point where they realize that you are now a public figure. You are mm. now a public. They want mm. to know how you eat, how you sleep, right. dress, everything that concerns mm. you. So we'll, we'll pass across that message today. So if people want to know about all oh, your marriage, you don't tell them, oh, why don't you mind your business? Because you are now a public figure. Right. I want to know how is it easy to manage your family life um, in, re in relation to your work? As an actor, how right. do you manage your, your 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 family life? Yeah, you know, some questions cannot be like science, like this is how A plus A is supposed to be. Mm. So it cannot be like science. So these things are are individual the individualistic, right? Okay. According to individuals, absolutely. But we should have a little standard. Mm. Now, a, a a very standard that will go is that. Try as much as possible to take your family out of social media. Okay, that's number one. Take your family out of social media. But you just told us that the is life it, of an actor is, uh, is, is it, public. It's a public exactly. Life. So yeah. how do you do that? How do you yeah, take your yeah. family you, out of social you media? You as an actor. You as an actor. As an individual. As a, no, you the actor. Yeah, that's because what I'm saying. It's not necessarily that your wife is an actor. Absolutely. Yeah, you the yes. actor, you're yes. a public person. Absolutely. But you should shield your family, your family from public. Right. But the public must always pry. That's it. The public will always pry. But try as much as shield your family from public. Because why do I say so? If you subject your family to social media, 
that is when your wife will hear this, will hear that, will hear this, hear that. People will come up with this, people will come up with that. But if you see most of the marriages that are really thriving are the ones that somehow the man or the woman or the man has managed to put her family off social media. If you look at someone like 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 Omotola, you don't really see a lot of display of her husband in the social media. You see your husband is just a pilot there, yeah, quietly right. piloting. Okay, his, yeah. yeah, I agree. I don't really want us to mention names. names. Yeah. Okay. yeah. But okay, there are these scenarios. There, where um, some of them comes out like um, my wife and I have separated uh, due to irre- irre- irreconcilable, irreconcilable differences. differences. Like you said, so by so doing, a lot of them, a lot of them have come out to, 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 to put this um, on social media, on Twitter, their Twitter, Twitter handles and all and uh, the, the, the rest of them. So do you think... Um, that's the right way, just like you had earlier said, that um, yes, they are the ones that are the public figures that should try as much as possible to keep their, their families away from the public. So coming out, for, okay, yeah, probably they have issues. And um, is it necessary? The question is, is it necessary at that point for them to come put it on social media that um, they're having you know, irreconcilable differences with their, their spouse? Yeah, before I really answer this your question, let's look at really the actor's family. Mm. You see, the actor's family is not like the regular family that we know. Okay, tell us. We don't yeah. know. The regular <laughs> family, father goes to work, mother goes to work, by four, five, they are all back home. Right. Home. And then there's this bonding of family. Yeah. Mm. But the life of, a, of an actor is not like that. Because there are many times you'll be needed to pass the night, three, four, five nights. Away from home. Away from home. Right. And some wives are already, because of the kind of business you do. Now, most times you'll be called out of the city and you'll be camped in a hotel. And you stay there five days shooting. And immediately you come one day, you're with your family, another set is calling. So, already the marriage... The, the, the actor's marriage is already stressed. So, so the, the, the actor you're saying doesn't really have much time to spend it, with both the wife, the wife and even the children, and even the the family children. In general. And we know family requires time. That's a big spend time to bond with each other. Especially the Nigerian actor, because mm-hmm. because maybe in, in abroad, one thing can take you. Four years. <laughs> Absolutely. Taking care of yourself. Absolutely. But in the Nigerian factor, you have to be doing it back to back, back to back, back to back for you to be able to meet ends. Mm. So, for that, already the marriage is already, you need an understanding partner. Now you are talking. An understanding partner. They will understand with you. So, so that's the, the, the bottom line I want to bring out. Now, coming to the social media, the truth about if you are divorced, it's good you go to the social media as an actor and announce. Because whether you do it or you don't do it, they will know. it is going to go up there. Yeah, I think... So, um, okay, so, let me allow you land. Yeah. Whether you say it or you don't say it, you're already a public figure. And it's more... You, you, you manage the scandal more before everybody start thinking what to say, you're already in their face. This is it. So it's best for you to quickly report yourself report before yourself the first. people d- discover. Before you think you are you are hiding and you are. You know, Why, think, uh, Do you really think they owe the you public do, that? Is this them. supposed to be their private lives? Yeah. No. 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 I know it's not like an actor is the president of Nigeria that must <laughs> must belong to the public, mm. but to be sincere. What gives you the edge is your fan base. Absolutely. So you don't want to lose that. Mm-hmm. The moment you lose your fan base, the moment you begin to go down. So you do everything to maintain your fans. True. Your fans. Yes. And some of these things is by coming to them. This is the situation, guys. Yeah. This is it. This okay. Is it. So talking about the fact that um, 
yeah, um, most times you are away from home. You don't spend as much uh, time. time with your family, with your wife and children and all that. Is it so bad if you decide to have them come on set with you? As in travel along with you when you know that you're going to have to like spend a week away from home. There are times, um, weeks and months you are away from home. So at that point, is it so bad that you have them travel with you? And now remember, you are an employee. Mm-hmm. You are not an employer. Mm. And there is the owner of the film. And the owner of the film doesn't like distraction. Right. And he, he has paid you mm-hmm. to come and give service. True. And he doesn't want to see any side distraction. Of course. So he wants to, at any minute he needs you, your attention, you are there. It's not the time you say, ah, wife is, which child is crying? Wife is calling you to yeah. do this. Is oh, the baby is running that. temperature. No, the baby is running temperature or every, anything like that. So most filmmakers would not like past uh, actor to bring their family to the camp. Okay. And again, there's always drama in the camp when the wife is there. Because even, even if you are not a promiscuous person, <laughs> you just find this ladies because they free society oh, right. before you know this one is hugging you this way you know you know not necessary oh, 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 that before you know her eyes are red it, it's not necessary <laughs> that you yeah, you are into you are you are you are somebody who who is an adulterous person no but somehow because in that atmosphere it's like everybody is free yes everybody's free. you That's can even so a lady come and sit on your lap true and she doesn't mean anything because that is not like the oh, culture yes. <laughs> in yeah. that place. And it can cause a lot of friction if the family is there. Okay. Yeah. So um, apart from um, um, time, that the time factor that most actors do not have to bond with their family or to spend with their families, what are other possible causes of, let's say, the frequent divorce we've been hearing mm-hmm. on, among in, uh, Hollywood actors or uh, broken homes of most of them are single parents. What are other factors, other causes that are contributing to this? Well, it still boils down to this. You can't manage, you can't manage, manage fame. Manage fame, the inability to manage manage fame. fame. Both the wife, yeah, the but because the wife might not necessarily be somebody that likes that is loud yes. or what wants the public's eyes to yeah. you know, be on. The husband yeah. might be famous, but the wife cannot manage fame. Wow. Mm. And yet the an actor can be famous, he himself cannot manage fame. Mm. And and when when that it brings clashes, clashes. Home, so it needs understanding. Right. Mm. Understanding. See, See, for a, not just an actor, for every home to thrive, there must be sacrifice. Okay. There must be give and take. And you have to understand what this person is into and what that sacrifice, person is Sacrifice, understanding, trust. Trust. Yeah. There must be trust. Thank you very trust much. Trust very important. Trust is a very good ingredient. Yeah, it's a key. It's a key. Mm. Unfortunately, we are in a profession where people <laughs> find it hard to trust right. because of the reputation that comes out of that mm. place. But that doesn't mean that there are very straight-minded people who are there for their business, uh, who are very clean people. Mm. Though we still have those who are randy people in there. <laughs> mm. so, 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 so most actors need to go and take courses on how to manage Fame, yeah, and, and and their families. Yes, and how to take care of their families. Exactly. As, as a public I, I personality. Think so. I think so. Um, um, talking of um, um, managing fame, we've, we've heard of stories or you know of um, upcoming actors, you know, that want to get into the industry. They mm. feel like okay, I have a passion for this. Mm. I think I can do well in this in this industry. And some of the challenge they face is. The um, um, how do we call them? These advanced or senior actors wanting to have their way with them, mm. you know, as um, in order for them to be able to get a space, you know, to excel in the in the, in the industry. How true is this, and how can you advise? Some of them even uh, complain of being abused. Of being abused, yes. and, and these have discouraged many young Nigerians who think they can excel in this industry from even making a 
and effort to go into it. So how true are these stories and, and what do you think you can advise the public out there to be able to, like, if I have a passion for this, what should I do? Should I, should I not go into it because I'm afraid that I'll not be given a space because I will not want to compromise? What What's your take on that, right? Yeah, these stories are very true. Because I personally, I have a WhatsApp group, one of, among the leading WhatsApp groups in Abuja, for actors. And a lot of people come with a lot of complaints. Issues, yeah. complaints. Mm. And sometimes we, we deliberate in the group on such issues. And we know some key people <clears throat> here in Abuja that are mostly, yeah, yeah, yeah. but a lot of people are into this. So a lot of people fall victim because they just want to be there. But one thing I would say is that most of the most of the the, the sexual assault that we mm. hear, yes, it's not actually a sexual assault. Okay, it's not. It's just an act of deceit. So it was after the deceit that you find out somebody is crying sexual assault because. A desperate person, let's say a female, mm. wants to get there. Mm. And a randy filmmaker mm. will come and give, tell her all the lies. I can make you sleep with me or yeah. do this, leave me. Right. She will willingly mm. sleep with him. Mm. After he finishes, he goes his way, he forgets about right. her. And that is when she now turns it into a sexual <laughs> molestation or something right. like that. Absolutely. And, uh, it's not as if they well held and they raped her by no. Okay, so when when people have such uh, uh, inspirations of wanting to become actors, whether male or female, what's the right uh, uh, path. path to follow? What's the procedure? How how do you so you don't fall victim? Exactly. Of this? Exactly. The right procedure is we can never stop learning until we die. Mm -hmm. The right procedure. You will go, you will go to auditions, you will audition, you will not make it, come back home, mm. check what happened that you couldn't make it. Work on it. Go tomorrow. But okay, normally they all, tell you why you didn't make it. They won't tell you. Oh. They won't Shouldn't tell you. Shouldn't they tell so that uh, the no, person they are know not, the area they are to work on themselves? They are not there. They, they are looking for... It's just like it's just like if somebody opens a company and he's looking for staff. Mm. They're looking for the best hands. And you came yeah. and he interviews you and you fail. Mm. You know, start telling you if this you come to do it, yeah. no, 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 you fail, you go. He just picks mm. the person who passes. Oh, yeah. So the person auditioning is looking for the actors and he's always looking for the best. Mm. So as long and it's very competitive. So as long as you not take the the the, the, the you not take corner, but go the right way, work on yourself, work on the way you speak, work. Look at Nero, try to be angry, try to be happy, mm. try to be sad, try to be looking at yourself. How that is if you don't have money to go and pay for acting schools and everything right. because most upcomers don't have money to go and pay for acting But do you have acting schools in, 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 in Abuja, in FCT? Yeah. Okay. We do have some very few key, although there are a lot of quack, quack ones. But there are a lot of key ones. There's one called... Um, no, don't call okay, because okay. they are not, on, they are not okay. paying for acting. <laughs> they are not paying for acting. <laughs> but we yes. have some, yeah, we have okay. some really good acting schools. schools in, in but FCT. if you can't act, if you can't pay for an acting school, work on yourself. Take your phone, talk, mm. and play back to see right. how does your voice right. sound. Right. Is it clear and audible enough? Mm. Are your words very distinct? Can people really, by just hearing, can they understand mm. what you're saying? Yes. Or do they have to listen? Mm. You know, there are, you could be talking. By hearing, I heard what you say. I don't have to listen. I don't know. I don't know if you understand. Yeah. There are some things you have to listen yeah. to get what they are saying. There are some things you are just watching and they are, you are just hearing yeah. them and you are already getting okay. what they are saying. Okay. So All right. some of these things you have to work and work and be prayerful. Oh, okay. Because to be sincere, I will tell you the truth. Um, 
Can I talk about Bible here? Oh, yeah, yeah. You're, you're free. Yeah. You're free. The Bible said the flesh profited not in the spirit that quickened it. Mm. We are in a world where the spirits control this flesh. And you have to be joined to one of these spirits, either the evil spirit or the Holy Spirit. <laughs> I'll tell you because okay. people will come. So, so you are saying people carry different spirits. Different, no, they come with those? different powers. No, those are not the truth. Basically, basically people come. Like so I myself, that if some I people myself, come using diabolical means. I myself, I have been by few people have been asked. Let me take you to somewhere somewhere. Oh really? Yeah. Okay, that I so guess uh, people, we are Africans after yeah, all. Yeah, so we find these things in every yeah, sector. Yeah, we have these things. So, okay. So okay. So you have to really spiritually again because you might be better than this person. And just this person is being given. You mm. can't really explain why, why you is were, this person is being given. And you are good. <laughs> and you were good. And you are good. Right. But you don't know where you are yeah. entering. Okay. So the is here. Right. So you too, you have to okay, really fortify yourself. We are due, we are due yeah. for a short break. Uh, yeah. Viewers, uh, stay tuned. Uh, we'll be back shortly. Welcome back. Still with us in the studio is Mr. Johnson Yakubu Sani. Thanks for being here. Thank you very much. Okay, so I would like to ask you, you we know that um, in Nollywood, uh, we have a lot of blood money, uh, um, rituals and all that, passing a lot of messages, um, you know, in this aspect witchcraft and all that showing Africa, showcasing Africa <laughs> in this aspect in which a lot of people have argued that why is it only this aspect that um, you know that they showcase that there are other parts of um, Africa that Nollywood can actually showcase you know to the world so this brings me to my next question which is um, a few days ago it was um, international day uh, for human trafficking in fact we had a guest a while ago that uh, talked about uh, from NAPTI that talked about um, um, human trafficking, how rampant it has become uh, in Nigeria. You know, how the victims, people are falling a lot of victims against their will, being deceived, and all that. So, has Nollywood um, been um, creating this awareness on uh, human trafficking? If yes, okay. If not, what are you doing in the industry to ensure that um, this awareness of, um, to, you know, talk to the youths about um, or rather preventing them from falling prey and victim to human traffickers. Yeah. Well, Nollywood, you know, we, Nollywood, the Nollywood is not, is not a police. That's to say, mm -hmm. because every, every, every organ uh, or every organization has its function. Right. Yeah. So, the only best we can do is to portray this through nice. our movies. Right. Yeah. And um, a lot of people are doing a lot of films, especially short films, on human trafficking, on rape, okay. on drug trafficking, mm -hmm. on all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Short, short films. A lot of short, short films have, have been thrown out there. Okay. With future-length films, I don't know, I don't know. I know all those days in the days of the glamour girls, they try to touch some of these, <laughs> some yeah, of these girl yeah, trafficking yes, and the exactly. rest. Yeah, yeah, that's but, exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, but I think in the future length film, Nollywood can do a lot more. Oh, yeah, well, sure, it's definitely. A series yeah, on, on, on human trafficking. So yeah. More awareness. Awareness. Yeah. yeah, yeah, because it, uh, this awareness is everybody's it's business. Everybody. Yes. Yes. And the human right, I don't know why the human right should because I was a program by the human right um, human right commission. Mm. They were sponsoring a program before on um, on discrimination and uh, they call it uh, silent prejudice at the point. Okay. Yeah, yeah, on discrimination and and caste system and all those okay. things. And that that program really really made headway. Okay. Yeah. 
and it really educated a lot of people. Right. So I think human rights commission should should probably collaborate with Hollywood. Uh, yeah. yeah. So that we can have things on them mm. on a, a human yeah, trafficking, trafficking because mm. whether it is sex, whether it is child labor, yes, whether child labor, or exactly. Not, mm. A lot of trafficking exactly. are out there. Absolutely. Yeah. But I think Nollywood is the best is the best medium, medium that can be that used, can, that can be used yes. to because it check. has a, a wild range of coverage. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right. So um as an actor, um what is it? You know, this is a family program, so we, we definitely we cannot uh, but overemphasize on the family. So personally, what would you is there any area you want to share with us? Um, uh, your experience, is there any area of difficulty where you have found uh, some kind of difficulty? Maybe when you are away from home, maybe the children, your wife, uh, is there anything you want to share with us? Um, you know, as a yeah, on a personal level, yes, I'm, I'm still facing a lot of family difficulty because of this. Personally, this is me. And uh, but somehow I'm still a family man. I'm mm. not divorced. <laughs> yes, good to know. Yes. <laughs> putting up with the challenges of, of work as the Nollywood industry. Yeah, it's really a challenge because in fact one of the things that my wife hates a lot is me going to sleep over. And this what entails. And you cannot that totally you, avoid you, that. You, you can't. Lies. You can't. Mm. And say if you want to be blacklisted by mm. the by the by the by the producers, right? Because where they where they need you, you have to be there. Absolutely. They have paid for the hotel. Mm. They are feeding you. They have everything. You have to be there in the hotel. And you have to sleep and wake up and study and and, and, and work on your scripts. Your scripts. And, you have to be there. Absolutely. So and my wife. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so, a, okay, that's on, on a personal yeah. note, so, but on a general note, even as we begin to wind down, what um, what counsel would you give to your colleagues out there yeah. in, relate, in relation, or rather, between their their careers, their careers and yeah. their homes and, and their, their families? Homes. How, what would you like to say to them to reduce this separation, divorces, yeah. and, and these scandals? That we see on social media. I have two messages to to the spouses. Whether it's the woman that is an actor, the, the right. man is not, or mm. the man is an actor, the woman is not. Mm. One is that you, that you are an actor, respect your family. Sure. Respect your family. There is no need. Because out there, all these ladies, even the ladies in the industry, they want to sleep with you. That's all they do. The ladies in the industry that are single, they want to sleep with you. But you just have to be disciplined. Mm. Be disciplined. Nobody will rape you. Your no is no. Make sure that you are truthful to yourself and to your family. Mm. And know that, no, you are a married person. You can't go and be and be and be fornicating out yeah, there. You know where to toe the line. Yeah. Because one of the key key problems that we face in the industry is because you are faced with all these pain temptations. I and you 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 could be in your hotel room. Yeah. yeah somebody will come and knock on your door. <laughs> right. Temptations are actually everywhere, Raymond. It's not just uh, it's it's not the truth. Yeah. 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 When actually, I was not married, when I was not married I had a chance to play a, a romance scene with a lady. A romance scene. I was actually coming to that. That those romance scenes you were playing. That romance scene sank deep into her. Right. That she came and gave her a wrong message. Not really gave her a wrong message. I don't know. Maybe I don't know what what was what message he sent you to her. A wrong party. message as in that probably. Yeah. She wanted more, or she felt you wanted more no. even after the scene. Not that's the kind that. of wrong. No, that's not even where I'm going. Okay. Sometimes you touch each other. Sometimes I don't know. Maybe it's a chemistry thing. The thing just sink deep into the skin of somebody, and the first thing just begins to think of you. 
That's what I'm saying. Acting it's gone wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so not that you, not that you have given the person a good life yes. for him to feel that way. I understand it, perfectly. but the fact that the the fact that you played that will just make the person. And it happened to me, and that lady was coming after me in my hotel room. So what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> Go so kind. To be sincere, she said, "Who's well, name?" And and I say, "Ah, wait, 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 wait. I have to like." No, no, no. But what am I saying? Some of these scenes we play, sometimes they, they don't just end there. Sometimes some like, people want them to continue. Some people want them to continue in the real. In the real, in the so actual, you have yeah. To in be the a actual, very disciplined person. I have to be very disciplined to be person. able to resist. To be able to resist. Because the temptations are there. Even as a lady, a married person, you'll be surprised. You don't know when your mind is just... Yeah, that's down. why most times some of the ladies, when they get married, um, they stop playing a romantic yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Just find out that you're attached to this man. What is it now? What is it calling you to this man? Just, but that's also yeah. where training comes in. If they are trained, if yeah. they don't just venture... Into acting, if they, if they if they are trained, they go to this uh, acting schools. Or, yeah, yeah. They, they are taught. They tell them how to like yes. know the difference between so when you're on set sometimes and, and these things, actual. Sometimes these things are chemistry. After all, it's acting. You know, you are meant to act. Yeah. That's fake. It's, yeah. it's, you are faking a character. But you are making it make believe. That's oh, it has to be made believe. Maybe. That's so, what I so the make believe. Oh, yeah. You are faking it, yes. But you are making it make. Oh, believe. that's the acting in it. So, so if they wanted me, if they wanted me to go all raw, they so are doing it actually. Yeah, yeah, because because yeah, 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 yes, that's so, because there's a story behind what you are doing. What you are doing that you are showcasing that you are so, trying to, to portray. So sometimes there's this thing we call chemistry because there's even somebody that is doing it to you. Is I do. I do. Is repulsive to you. Yes. It's repulsive to you. But you don't know somebody just like that. You just find that he's into you. Yeah, you're, 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 you're not doing it on a robot. You're yeah, doing it on yeah. human. Into your skin. Flesh and blood. Yes, that flesh and skin. And then it's into your skin. And then you yes. find out you're going home and you are thinking about that thing you just did. <laughs> okay. It does happen. It does happen. Right. So discipline is very, very key. Very, it is. Very key. Actually. So it now takes discipline for you to know to know no, to put to know where to stop. Where to stop. Yes. Right. So so this makes me to want to ask, are there what of the ethics of your profession? You know, do do you people have a certain codes that maybe right. prevent you mm. from maybe doing certain things with mm. your co-actors or let's let's face the truth. Let's face the truth. The acting industry, we are all adults. Yes. We are all adults. Everybody mm-hmm. has a right. You, how he wants to live his life. Yes. So you can't. You 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 are only you only give your yourself under the control when you are in front All of sense. the camera. But after exactly. the camera, so those ethics are just within the camera. The after the camera, camera, everybody lives. Right. Everybody Absolutely. lives his life. Mm. The only thing that that the ethics you are talking about is deceit. Mm. Especially you tell somebody. Come, I'll give you a role. Mm. I'll give you a role. And then you're not sleeping with that, and don't give him that role. Now, that is a deceit. But if two people feel they like themselves, they want to go and enjoy yeah, themselves. They're free to do whatever they, they are. adults. Absolutely. But when, when there is deceit, especially using the, like an employer using, okay. using the company okay. to take advantage. Mm. Well, then that's when they frown. Okay, so but there is nothing like that. Right. Uh, because you're in the same profession, you cannot befriend yourself. No, there's nothing like that. Okay, so in other words, actors should be able to like uh, keep and maintain their homes. Yeah, be faithful to their to their husbands or to their wife. To their spouse, Key. yes. And then to the person who is not an actor, whether the female or the male is not an mm. actor, mm. should have trust. Absolutely. These are just the two things. Mm. When this one, an actor is faithful, and this one has trust, nothing will shake that marriage. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, on, uh, it's a good place to leave it away, except you have something else to... Yeah, I was still thinking that there should be some sort of code of 
conduct, especially. I'm sure they have because we are we are we are so concerned. I'm sure they the have. Family. Mm. When the family is doing well, the society mm. will do well. Absolutely. And if there are things in Nollywood or let's say in that profession that are affecting the family one way or the other, mm. it's something that should be looked into. Mm. So if there are certain codes that, especially when it comes to family men and women, right? This man is married. Yes. You know, there should be some sort of restriction oh, yes. on that. Sure. Okay. So single ladies should, you know, have a limit. Or you realize that this person messed around with this one, a single lady messes around with. Uh, married man, and then maybe results or something, and it's it's brought up. She's brought okay, up to Ramon. the yeah. Okay. That yeah, so, yeah, I think. But um, my final note is that yes, you know sometimes because the acting profession is out there, mm. you think is it's one, easy. No, it's one of the most rotten things. Okay. No. Oh, well, there are a lot of disciplines. When you go, oh yes, a lot of disciplines. Even in the in, in, in the federal civil service. It's a, yeah, that's what Even we're saying. Even the federal civil service, right. no sanctions. They are gas. They, do they, they go to office, they yes. work. Oh yes. But after office hour, they know Absolutely. where they say let's Yes, meet. thank you, thank you so much. I don't. <laughs> thank you, Mister Johnson. Thank you. Thank you. Sunny is a good place to yeah. live. It. Uh, mm-hmm. I want to thank you for coming on the show. Thank I want you. to thank our viewers for for watching, and uh, we hope to see you soon again. Thank you very much. It's Please. my pleasure being here. Thank you. Uh, thank, thank you so much. Yeah. So, um, like, uh, what I would have to say is that, um, just like he had also said, it's not just as actors, every profession has um, its challenges and um, people could be vulnerable wherever they find themselves, not just um, in the industry, in the acting uh, industry. One thing that, um, uh, as far as you are married, one thing that I have to say is that loyalty, you should learn to be loyal to your spouse at what level, whether you're an actor, whether you're you are you work in a, a white collar job, you have a white collar job in the ministries, just like he has said, whatever it is, you're a market woman, you're a businessman, whatever it is that you do, just ensure that um, you keep make priorities with your family, you make sure that um, you are loyal to your spouse and find the time to spend at home. Yes, you may be traveling a lot, but the little opportunity you have to spend with your family, make it count. So from all of us here in the studio, Raymond, Thank you. Thank you very much. Hope to see you in the next um, episode. Yes. My name is Elizabeth Samsedi. Bye for now.